Right, hello again. So, um, I think this is number 231, I think, 231, um, which is this one. Now, this was actually a miniature that was in my parents' collection. Um, I don't even know how they got it, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I was going through, mum, mum had said, oh, we found some miniatures, is there any of them that you want? Because they'd had some of the, like the Diageo Classic Malt set, and I think he'd had like two or three of them. So there was a load of Lagavulins lying around, so I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to have them anyway. Um, but a few odds and sods, and then this one. So I thought, okay, I, I've, it's not even on my list, but I'll have it. Um, I think I've heard of it before, don't have it to, uh, to try, so let's go with that. So. I have looked, now I'm going to let you into a little behind the scenes secret and I've tried to pretend that I'm not using it but I think it's pretty bloody obvious that I am in that I make notes for every, all of my whiskies and I used to have a um, notepad, it was actually I nicked it off my daughter, she had a little notepad that she was writing stuff in and it was one of these where it was like five notepads for a quid so I nicked one of them and I was writing these notes in and ran out so I ended up getting um, uh, paper chase were selling notebooks dirt cheap on a like summer sale so I've got this notebook and to start with the reason it looks really thick is I've actually start I, I ended up um, photocopying all the notes from the old notebook and actually um, gluing them into this so you'll notice that that bit is quite that's how it should be but that's really thick because I've had to stick all these pages in but this is my notebook this ultimately because I'm I'm planning on potentially taking this whole project as a book almost as a reference book for drinkers but actually kind of doing it 366 pages times two one page will be the whiskey review and the other page will be like me actually doing the challenge and what's going on in my life and dealing with a third kid on the way and all of this lot and some other bits and pieces like that as well because there's there's a few bits and pieces where maybe later on in the challenge I might have to share some things with you um, so, you know, as, as I've gone through, I'm now sort of on the proper pages. So all of the whiskies that I have done so far have some kind of notes, just as a reference while I'm doing the videos with dates or names or bits and pieces, and I can just check. And it's pretty obvious because I keep looking down while I'm talking to you. So I'm not really giving the game away, I don't think. Let me show you what I've got for um, Hanky Bannister. That's, it's normally about half a page of notes because I don't want to write a whole novel. Um, and I don't have enough time to do proper, as you probably noticed, I don't really have enough time to do proper research because I'm doing this every day or every other day. So it's literally five, 10 minutes on Wikipedia, official notes, uh, malt madness, bourboner when I was doing bourbon, that sort of thing. So I, I can't, I've just got to pick out the interesting bits and a little bit of the history and when it was started and all this lot. So Hanky Bannister was that Jacobite, nothing. Honestly, nothing. The one bit I have written down is 1745 because that's when the Jacobite uprising was. And the fact that I could find it in one website, I found it in two places for sale. One is Amazon in litre, six packs of 20 CLs, 70 CL, all of them are sold out. No price, nothing. They're all, this, this is, item is currently out of stock. Or Premier, which is a chain of convenience stores that are selling a litre for 18.99. That's it, I have got nothing on this at all. The bottle's no bloody help either. The Jacobite, finest Scotch whiskey, distilled, blended and bottled from 100% Scotch whiskies, 40% volume, the independent spirit in cursive, wow, 5CL, bottled in Scotland, that's it. There's a tiny, tiny little bit right at the bottom. Something and peacock, God, that's such small writing, no idea absolutely no idea it looks as though this could be a slightly older miniature because what i found um image wise looks like this so it looks like whoever's making it has done an upgrade of the labeling but amazon and premier seem to be the only places in the uk if not the world that are selling it because there's just nothing there is no information on it at all if you put jacobite whiskey into google the second thing that comes up is a version of drambui called drambui jacobite this is definitely not like drambui so no idea the premier i mean the premier website i'm not going to read it out but it basically said it was um distilled blended and aged in oak in scotland and that was it so that's the best information that I can give you on this whiskey. So my hopes aren't up, I will be honest, but this will be quite a short video because that is all I've got for it.
but you never know it could be absolutely bloody amazing don't think it will be but you never know so let's do this there is very very little on the nose very little indeed there's a little bit coming through slightly citrusy yeah more kind of citrus than anything else but more like lemon zest rather than like lemons very very little on the nose you could argue there's some honey there but it would be a very very hard argument to sustain 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 that's the word I mean there's so little on the nose it's it's like pretending to be whiskey but not really getting fully into character A slight spiritiness it's it's there's so little there it's untrue really quite sweet really sweet really sugary sweet as well it's not to be honest too dissimilar to the sugared almond flavor of the famous grouse it's not too dissimilar at all it doesn't quite have as much depth of this famous grouse but there is this sugared almond sweetness to it but it's not as good as famous grouse It's sugared almonds, but then there's a slight sharpness to it as well. It's almost like you've eaten sugared almonds with a mint, with a soft mint, tree ball soft mint. If you took a sugared almond, and they don't look too dissimilar, and it's almost like you've picked up a sugared almond and a soft mint together and put both in your mouth without realizing because there is a weird very sweet mintiness to it as well as a sweet sugared almond it's not too cloying because there's not a lot of body to it i think if there was a bit more body to it it would actually be quite tacky like a tacky sweetness whereas it's so light it's so light but it's not a, oh, it's so light, it's so easy to drink. It's so light because there's, there's really very little there that it doesn't become cloying. It's just quite sweet. It's not unpleasant to drink. It's just a bit unbalanced and it's a bit of an odd combination of flavors. And it's almost not whiskey. It's not whiskey liqueur sweetness. It's not drambuie sweetness, but it's just a bit wishy-washy. And, and it's going to be too sweet for some. It's not going to be rich enough for others. It, it's, it's like it's a whiskey for people that don't really drink whiskey, which is kind of like Hague Club. There's a bit of a burn to it. And it would almost be enough if you had a bit of a cold and you drink coffee and you put sugar in your coffee but you think oh I don't really feel that great I fancy a coffee with some whiskey in it that would save you putting the sugar in because it's got the kick of an alcohol but then it's got sweetness of a couple of sugars in your coffee it's that sweet it's like two sugars in your coffee sweet it's not great it's not great at all I can I sort of understand why it's quite difficult to get hold of um, because I almost get the impression this is almost used in pubs as the house whiskey, that sort of thing. Well, that was an experience, certainly. Not a fantastic whiskey at all. Not one worth searching out. Oh, I tell you where I did find it, actually. I do lie. I found it in one other place. I can't even remember what they were called, but they were a company based in the UK that do um, personalised labels. And basically it was the Jacobite whiskey and you could put your name on it and things like that. Which is not a great advert for it, to be perfectly honest. Um, yes, I would not go searching out this particular whiskey unless you are wanting something very sweet 
with not a lot to it. Um, right, that's that one done. Two, three, one down. And uh, I shall see you at two, three, three. Two, three, two. <laughs> I shall see you at two, three, two. All right. Cheers. Take care.